evening. Uh, <coughs> good evening. Me. Myself and Brenton in for a bit of foot golf. And we're going to do a little video as we're going around just chatting about what's been going on this week in the world of sport. What was the major this week in golf again? PGA. The PGA. Brooks Kopka, absolute machine. One again. That's he's a stone cold killer, like. He's won four of the last eight that he's been in. Like that is absolutely <laughs> insane. I think he only cares about the majors. He, I think he said that. I Which think, is fair enough, isn't it? Like, um, the Americans are crying out for someone to galvanise their Ryder Cup team, and it, mm. and it re it really should be him. Yeah. But he's sort of like, yeah. European team, like we've a, a great um, team spirit, always have, um, and the talent does sort of come with that now. America have always, you know, historically been more talented golfers, but they just can't bond as a team. They were so major focus themselves yeah. they still are um, and it looks like Capcus going the same way it just must be how they're driven we we really really love the Ryder Cup like, over here in Europe like the Ryder Cup is when it's on it takes precedent over everything yeah. Whereas, I don't know I've never been to America when it's been on so I'm not sure how really big it is in America and whether they've taken that like they've lost that many times over recent years Maybe it's starting to go on the way in, so they really do need someone like Brooks Copley just to be like, nah, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to go up here and smash every European go golfer out of the <clears throat> Last Sunday, there was times where he looked like he was going to win it, but with a round of spur, <laughs> he was playing that well, like, and then he had a little bit of a wobble, and, and DJ came back into it, and it looked like it was going to be very interesting, and DJ had his problems, and, and Copka won again, but I, I think he could win, he's certainly going to, he's going to be in the mix for that open. Yeah. Fifth player in history to retain both at the same time or something like that. Yeah. The US Open and the PGA, which is an unbelievable feat when you think of the names he's in there with. Um, but yeah, so he's now level with Roy McElroy as a major wins. Yeah, Who's the first to get the five majors? Um, looking at current form and and Rory in majors at the moment, you'd have to say Kapka. The only thing that will point to Rory maybe winning the next. Um, Major is that he's played Royal Port Rush. I'm, I'm sure hundreds of times yeah. it comes with a pressure that people expect it from you. And there's going to be a lot of people at the Open in Port Rush who maybe have never been on a golf tournament before and are going there to see Rory and are, think they're going there to see him win. We're going to talk about a few things because. There's two big games coming up for both of us in football, uh, Europa League final and Champions League final. And we'll have previews on them coming up with uh, JD back on the show. But right, we're about to tee off. Mm -hmm. Pulisic is finally here and arrived. Yep. Um, obviously, no outgoings from Chelsea yet. I'll be wild. <laughs> Things have got a final. But you're starting to tie up a few people, which I thought was going to happen. Yeah. You're sending a year extension. Caballero sending a year extension. It looks like Chelsea are accepting that. Uh, they're not going to be able to sign players. Chelsea are going to challenge the decision uh, through the quarter opposition for sport, and that's when we'll really know, you know, what's happening. Um, but they say they haven't received um, the information on it yet, so it looks like Chelsea are holding back. The main thing will be for me and all Chelsea fans: are they going to take the hit on Hazard and get the money for him? I mean, or are they going to keep him for a year and let him go on a free? So one each after the first hole. Um, we we're both two over. Like, what do you think? Like FIFA, UEFA, FA, FA. Like I'm so fed up with all of them. And um, to be honest, FA, like it's just football. Um, governing bodies or whatever, trying to rinse everything they can out of football. Like, this final in Baku, for instance, like, they shouldn't be having it somewhere where I have this debate with people and like it's been a friendly debate like it's been no nasty running but where an actual footballer can't play for fear of his own life just for obviously people who don't know I'm sure you do like um, Mkhitaryan and Arsenal have made the decision um, not to bring Mkhitaryan to the Europa League final which is in Azerbaijan in Baku because um, basically Armenia where, where Mkhitaryan is from and Azerbaijan um, currently don't have diplomatic relations so um Mkhitaryan is basically afraid for his life and, and the life of his family um, because he, he thinks UEFA and the Azerbaijani FA can't guarantee his safety which obviously is fair enough uh, How could you go and play a, a, any sport? How could you go and participate in a sport? That's just wild like. Yeah 
you know what I mean? It's just daft. And this thing about the World Cup, it never should have been that many teams in the World Cup anyway. We're, we're getting dangerous. We're getting dangerously close here to out, diluting the life out of the. And you want it to be a little bit of a even the group stage at this World Cup. Last World Cup, we're a bit like, all oh, right, some games you just want to come on. Yeah. You want it to be so competitive that every game is a good is one. A, is a let's good. play foot golf. Yeah, let's play. F Again, Phillips in trouble. He's in behind a pretty hefty tree. That's me. Prime position. Not the worst. Uh, the big man's just doing a bit of the gramming. At the sports bubble on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, and subscribe on YouTube. I mightn't win the foot golf, but I had 20 chicken wings. But he's won my respect. We will probably do a Europa League review. I'm not going to lie, because there's two cousins going at it. Johnny and Brenton. For One Europa of us League glory. might be severely injured. Maybe Johnny. Probably going to be Johnny. Transfer window will explode. And we're looking to have like a, a weekly transfer window roundup and gossip and stuff. And the TT's coming up and there'll be more road races. Women World Cup's coming up. Johnny wants to do stuff for that. So, yeah. It's, it's a good time for women's football in general. But um, certainly in England and, and in the UK. Yeah. Get on that when it, when it starts. We'll be doing as much coverage of it as we can. Good luck. You were up the Northwest last week? I was indeed, yeah. A Thursday, great Thursday. event. Brilliant event. I've been going to Northwest, as I said in the vlog, from when I was a baby, like, um, with Dad. So I just, I love road racing. It's up there, one of my favourite sports. For someone like me who hasn't been before, what would you say is the go-to thing? To Where do you go? Just after Station Corner and the Link Road, where they've just gone close to 200 miles an hour, and then they're going slow up a hill and then around a, the roundabout. And that's a good, if you want to go and watch riders that are, it's a bit of a technical area as well where they're coming in, they're going to put their knees down or elbows down to go around the magic roundabout and then they're firing out of that corner. It's good there. But and where is that for somebody like, I don't know where Station Corner is, so like, you know, north, like we're talking Port Rush, Port... Just out of Port Rush on the way to Coleraine. That road as you're leaving, Port okay. Rush, Port Stewart, Station Corner is the kink at the bottom of it. Um, but yeah, I love my road racing and one thing I found as well, like all the riders were so accessible. Um, and we've set up something for a couple of riders to speak to us and come on and do a couple of shows with us. If you can get to a road race, I know there's people that doubt it because it is so dangerous and I get that, but the camaraderie at it and the environment and the community spirit that it has at it is just second to none. We've had one full round of it. Breton won. He won by seven shots. The playoff final is coming up, obviously. The Europa League final and the Champions League final and we're going to do our previews of them on Sunday. We don't want to talk about them too much in this video and the transfer window hasn't even kicked off properly yet. Apart from if you're Borussia Dortmund, they've done quite well. Yeah. Julian Brandt and Thorgan Hazard. Just making the most out of that Pulisic money. Well, I thought Man City, like they, they won, obviously beat Liverpool and they won a treble and they've spent the whole week. Domestic treble. Domestic treble, they've spent the whole week um, gurning about Liverpool. Have a day off. Just Why would you give a toss? Tell you, is it like Liverpool had won that league? I wouldn't, you wouldn't see me for weeks. An unprecedented thing, it's the first domestic travel, yes, the model of the Champions League, but like, celebrate what you've won, and yeah, well, we're like, uh, congratulations like, to the Man City. Yeah, oh, what a brilliant season, yeah. what a brilliant season, and fair player to them, they won the league, they won the domestic travel. And congrats uh, to most of those fans, like, who are, you know, just normal fans, <laughs> some of those fans who have gone viral, um, and who are constantly on Twitter instead of celebrating their team's success. Daft. Just take it off. Just play against me because you'll thump me and then you'll have a decent... You're sure to win. You're sure to win and you'll enjoy yourself and you'll have a good night and you'll have a laugh at my expense. And don't forget, kids. It's all about respect.